Revelio. Defender. Cruiser. 
covering them. Place it. Akio. What a relief. Revelio. I am curious to hear of Isidore's travels. Do come in. Please, have a seat. Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. I've something to show you. Father... These are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. Isadora. What happened? 
have you done? I took his pain. This is uncharted magic, Isadora. You can only see what has been sealed in the jar, and we do not know what power that may hold. But the traces of that magic are different from what I've seen before. Thank you. Revelio. Revelio. You're back. And in one piece, no less. It is good to see you again. Professor Rookwood told me about what happened at Rookwood Castle. In light of the dire circumstances in which we find ourselves, it is most fortunate that someone so competent is following this path. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep the second artifact safe as you've advised. Good. Are you ready to move on? What was the glowing strand that Isadora pulled from her father's chest? It was... pain. You will understand more about her actions as you complete the trials. I'm ready for whatever comes next. In that case, introductions are in order. Allow me to introduce former Hogwarts headmistress, Neve Fitzgerald. How do you do? I must say that I was not entirely surprised to learn that a student had been completing the trials. I've always believed Hogwarts students capable of anything they set their minds to. Thank you, Professor. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. I am certain that you are more than capable of completing my trial. However, I must first, how shall I say, prepare the location of your next trial. We trust your judgment, Professor Fitzgerald. You should know better than anyone how to manage the inconvenience of, well, a vainglorious and exasperating headmaster? Indeed I should. I shall confirm that everything is in order immediately. Of course. Professor Fitzgerald needs some time to clear the way forward. Until then, you should continue to hone your magic. If you learn more about Ranrock and Victor Rookwood's activities in the meantime, please let us know. Very well, Professor. I know, I know. Continue to hone my magic. You do learn quickly. Hopefully you will soon hear from Lodgok as well, and we shall learn how he fared with the helmet you retrieved. Well done today, as always. We shall speak again soon. Revelio.
Revelio. Natty told me about your run-in with the poachers. I have some news about them as well. Can you meet me soon? I fear that some of what I uncovered has to do with you. When you have a moment, please stop by the Room of Requirement. Deke mentioned you might be interested in learning how to breed beasts. I have been asked to teach you the exploding charm, Bombarda. Once you have completed the tasks I've set forth, speak to me after class. Revelio. That's it. I'm making good progress with those tokens. Another house token for the house chest. Revelio. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. <gasps> Revelio. Pardon me, sir. Come to stare at the fool, have you? There's poor Ig Haggerty, robbed by his own sister. Ah, she's robbed almost everyone now. So, who's the fool? I, I, I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. Then you're the only one who doesn't know about Catherine running off with that thief, Victor Rookwood and his lot. Good riddance, I said. Never thought she'd return a steal from me, but us. But I just know it was her. I want her caught and sent to Azkaban for stealing a prize family heirloom. Sister or no. Are you sure Catrin is the culprit? It could be anyone. Thanks to that Rookwood louse, we're inundated with all manner of criminal. I wanted to believe it was any one of them except Catrin. But she was the only one who knew where the heirloom was hidden, and she knew precisely which homes to rob. Why would Catrin come back to rob the Hamlet if she'd already left? Do I look like a criminal to you? How should I know? She always despised this place, resented having to grow up here. Perhaps she did it to spite us. What exactly was the family heirloom that the thief stole? A necklace. Belonged to the first of the Haggerty women. Hundreds of years old. So much history. She'll likely pawn it. I could keep an eye out for the thief, sir. You? Ugh. 
Nothing to be done by the likes of us. This is a job for the fine officer singer or some such authority. Besides, the thief, my sister, only strikes at night. Coward, long past your bedtime. I should be going now. Thank you. I'll keep an eye on you. Mr. Haggerty, can you remind me what we spoke about? I told you about my thieving sister, Catherine. Ran off with a family heirloom and goodness knows what else from our neighbours. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Glad you were able to stop by. Now that it's night, I... Salazar Slytherin's spellbook. Meet me in the Undercroft. I found something. Revelio! A pile of gold. I must be on the right track. It looks as if the thief took more than they could carry. Revelio. Wizardkind will submit to us once the war is over. Revelio! You see me? Leviosa! Release me! Crucy! The villa! Incendio! There's the students from the town! I know I'm best! Akio! Confringo! Uh. Uh. Branrock has fooled you, Revelio! Revelio. I 
I should investigate. Rebellion. Revelio. A <laughs> niffler. It wasn't Catherine Haggerty after all. Revelio. That must be the Haggerty family heirloom. Revelio. Revelio. No need to be Revelio. I wonder how Mr. Haggerty will take this news. His sister wasn't the thief, and his heirloom's coming home. I have some good news, Mr. Haggerty. I unmasked your thief. Nothing to unmask, was there? We all know that the thief was my sister, Catherine. Actually, sir, the thief was a niffler. A, a, a what? You know, small, furry, pilfering. I followed it to its lair. Catelyn was the only one who knew how to get into our homes, where to find our treasures. But I suppose... Mangy little blighter. Well... If you found the Niffler's lair, as you say, you must have found my heirloom. As a matter of fact, I did. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. Catherine's a disappointment for certain, but I never wanted to believe she was behind this. Now, thanks to you, I won't have to. What a strange world we live in. Suppose they can't send a Niffler to Azkaban. At least I've got my heirloom back. How 
certainly don't look like any... Enjoy suffering, do you? There's no telling what lies in wait for me in there. I know what that means. A man in trial. Rebellion. Confringo, Accio, Glacius, Descendo, Defendo, Crucio, Accio, Confringo, Rebellio. Confringo, Rebellio. Confringo. Accio. Glacier. Descendo. Rebellio. Confringo. Revelio. You said I want to buy out. You will fall. Confringo. Not so tricky after all, man. Revelio. Can 
Please, Ringo! Looks rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. Confringo! Accio! Descendo! Levioso! Incendio! Incendio! Confringo! Capulso! Descendo! Accio! Levioso! Revelio! Levioso! Descendo! Accio! Glacius! Confringo! Revelio! Lumos. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Malin himself would be proud. Revelio. 